the money that you're spending and potentially losing on that trade is insignificant in terms of the amount of debt that you're going to carry mentally as a trader for the rest of your career by doing that silly shit. Think about it. How many times have you been in a trade where even if it went to the worst case scenario and ran all the way to wherever your stop would have been? Would have been. Notice I said that. But some of you aren't trading with a stop loss. What's the worst that's going to happen? That loss doesn't end you. But in your mind, you've lost a limb. You've lost your, your strong arm. How else could you ever go back into trading if you lose this trade? If I lose this trade, I can't imagine ever wanting to do this again. That's the equivalent of what you're doing. But where was the motivation that led you to that moment? Right when it came to the time where you push that button, it transforms into impulsiveness. That moment, right before you take your trade, you have to really, really know what you're doing. You have to know exactly what you're doing, why you're doing it. And before you press the button to get into it, you have to know exactly where your static maximum risk is, and there must be a stop loss there. Because once you have that, see, you're you're trying to avoid that stop loss because you're afraid it's going to hit it. Whereas a professional-minded trader, they want to know what that is so that way they don't worry about it. This is what I'm willing to lose. If I'm wrong, okay, I I'm willing to take that as a loss. But you want to trade with the maximum leverage. So it makes perfect sense for you to try to avoid everything, ever getting – you'll never get stopped out. You'll never get stopped out if you never use a stop loss. You know what that is? Head and ass syndrome. Your head's too far up your ass, and you can't see things properly. I'm sorry. I can't see it, your perspective. I used to see it like that. I went, I went through that same thing. But I pulled my own head out of my own ass and started looking at things correctly. And some of you are fighting me on this. No, no, no. You don't get it, ICT. I'm different. I'm going to be the exception. No, you're not. You're just going to do it worse. But you'll never talk about it. <laughs> you're never going to tell anybody what you did. When that would probably be the best thing for you. It disarms you. It makes you human. It proves that we are fa we're fallible. We're not infallible. Some of you think I'm infallible as a trader. Sometimes I don't do it right. Sometimes it doesn't work out where I want it to go. Like there's many instances where I've told my son, so that, you know, I would like to see it do this, do this, do that. And then there it is. And we sat together. And he's like, hey, but dad, it did this, 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 and you entered there and it didn't do what you thought. So how would I know that experience? And some of you don't want to hear that answer. 30 years, folks, you know, so that's a long time to be looking at stuff that's doing the same stuff all the time. You get used to it. You know with confidence that that one trade that you're looking at right now, even if it fails and the three after it fails, it doesn't change the efficacy of the model. It doesn't change you as the trader. It just means if you execute on them, you might have incurred loss. But are you allowing for and inviting those losing trades, those losses, to take you completely out of the model and completely away from trading and or having the ability to be solvent to trade? It's amazing how traders that get so worked up chasing other people's bullshit online, these things that people promote falsely, they don't have any evidence that they can do it. They don't talk about it before it happens. They don't. Use a model or an approach that is applicable or you can see being used in the executions. You don't even see their executions. They just tell you this is a trade I took. And they're using the buy and sell overlay thing on trading. View. That's not even an entry with a demo. That's just here's a trade I took. I think I got in right on here. Listen to what they say. They tell on themselves, but they're selling mentorships. That's frustrating for somebody that knows what the fuck's going on and have taught. Man, I don't know how many people, but I've taught a lot of people for free. And it's just my, my tolerance for it is gone. It's gone. And I don't try to influence all you in that respect. I mean, but if you're going to be trying to pay somebody for something, they better have the, the goods. They better be able to prove that they can do what they're, what they're claiming they can do instead of talk about something on the left side of the chart. But you all fall victim to that stuff. This image-based stuff.
materialistic stuff. And you resist sound logic, real money-making, money-preservation insights that I went through this stuff. 